for poster videos on a specific topic. I might have covered it already, and so here is how you can most easily find it. I keep a master list of all the posts for every day, the topic, um, the link to the blog version, the YouTube version, any uploads. If you just are interested in videos, you can search um, my YouTube channel. If you go, I've tried to organize things into some playlists. Um, some of them are more hopefully organized than others in terms of like more specific and things like this. Some of the videos are really old um, and aren't so great, um, but they you can search them all here as well as just um, just searching my channel in general if there's a, um, a specific topic you are interested in. You can also search my blog, The Bumbling Biochemist. Um, so if you're looking for something specific, I might have contact on it. And so you can search it in here. Um, and if you go to Let's Talk Science, here you can find posts organized on a variety of different topics. Um, so this includes like a page of lab techniques. If you're more specifically looking for things about protein expression and purification, I have a whole post on that. Um, structural biology, I have posts on those mammalian cell culture, random practical lab tips and tricks, um, things about like school and training and postdocs and all of this stuff, um, random practical posts on various things. If you want more resources outside of what I provided, um, I have a page with a guide to resources that I found really helpful. One of the nice things about viewing posts on the blog is that the terms are connected to a glossary. And so if you click on a term um, in the context of an article, or if you scroll over the term, um, it'll basically pop up the definition or my description. And if you click on it, it'll take you to the um, to the blog version. And so if you want, are interested, um, it, that's one benefit about reading it on my blog as opposed to reading it in like the comments of the YouTube or whatever. But if that's how you... That's how you roll. You can also read them in the comments. And then I also have a link in all of the descriptions for my posts and my videos to the blog version. Um, so you can basically, if you, if there's a topic, in there, it might be easiest to find it in this form or it might be easiest to search for it in one of the other um, locations. It kind of depends on how specific the term is and whether it's actually something that I used when I named it um, in this po by post topic or whether it's something that just came up in the context of the post. Um, but you can see all of the post topics that I've covered in the past if you search this 365 days tab. If you go to the other tab, well, now it's going to show you um, links to those key pages where I had the techniques and the on various things, the amino acid posts, classic experiments, cell culture, structural biology. I also have a number of uploads. So I have a Google Drive link um, where you can find these as well. So in addition to finding this 365 Days of Science, which is the guide to what I'm showing you now, I have a variety of uploads, um, various things about concentrations, determination, um, tips for um, using databases and some of my favorite tools and things about Python, staying organized, cloning um, formulas, various spreadsheets and things like this. And so you can find that in the BB resources um, in the Google Drive. Um, and then here are the links to some of the things that you'll find there, as well as links to some of the YouTube playlists I have. Um, and so lots of different ways to find the content and hopefully I have what you look what you're looking for. Um, I might not if I don't I'm sorry, um, you can try asking me I don't know if I'll have time or if it's something that I'm not familiar with, um, then I definitely don't have time to research into it. I'm a full time postdoc um, so I'm a lab scientist and. Part of the reason why I try to organize this all so well is that so both I can find things and so you can find them more easily. Um, because I have a day job and I just do this to help people learn. So I hope that this helps. I hope that this helps you find the content. I do this all for free. I'm not trying to like advertise myself or anything. Um, I just want to help people learn. And so I want you to be able to find the content you need um, if I haven't covered it already. And so hope this helped you.